Now, over time, as I continue to build out my long-term dividend portfolio full of different dividend paying ETFs and stocks, the closer and closer I get to my long-term goal as far as total yearly dividends and or total monthly dividends, which I'm not all that far off of as of right now, the more it has me considering adding more growth-focused ETFs and or single stocks in my portfolio to hold on to long-term. Now, this is simply because although one of my primary focuses as a long-term investor is to get my portfolio to an amount of cash flow where it can sustain all my expenses and then some, I also want my portfolio and net worth to keep going up over time, so I am going to be adding some more growth-focused names ongoingly. Now, for an example of this, just as of recently, I started buying the Vanguard Dividend Appreciation ETF, which is ticker symbol VIG, and although, of course, this ETF still is dividend and dividend growth-focused, VIG offers a lot of growth potential also. Now in this video we're going to go through and I'm going to share with you guys an ETF, a growth focus ETF that I'm considering adding to my portfolio and buying some consistently very soon here. Now this ETF offers a massive amount of growth potential, is very diversified, and trust me you are definitely going to want to see everything this ETF has to offer. So if you want to go through one of my favorite growth oriented ETFs that I'm planning on adding to my portfolio very soon here, make sure to stick around, drop a like down below, and let's get right into it. Real quick for those that haven't already, make sure to go to the first link in my description and grab my new dividend investing ebook where I share exactly how I went from $0 invested to now earning over $6,000 on a monthly basis and over $1 million invested in the market. Along with the ebook, you're also going to receive my custom dividend tracker where you can track your dividend progress on an ongoing basis and reach your dividend investing goals. So make sure to grab yourself a copy of my dividend investing ebook and the new dividend tracker today. It's the first link in my description. So the more growth focused ETF that I'm planning on adding to my portfolio very soon here, and this is of course to have some more exposure to growth in the portfolio, not just dividends and or dividend growth, is ticker symbol VUG or the Vanguard Growth ETF, which I'm sure a lot of you guys have already heard of. Now this ETF has a very cheap expense ratio of just 0.04%, so it's very cheap to hold on to. And one of the main reasons that I'm looking to add ETFs to the portfolio rather than single stocks for the most part is because I want to have a small portion of different single stock names diversified throughout the portfolio. And honestly, as I get older, I don't want to necessarily have to watch over my portfolio as a whole all that much as time goes on. So buying high quality, low cost, extremely low cost it is, dividend growth and or growth focus ETFs is sort of the way to go if you ask me. Now to look a little bit deeper into VUG, the Vanguard Growth ETF, it says we're here under product summary, seeks to track the performance of the CRSP US Large Cap Growth Index, provides a convenient way to match the performance of many of the nation's largest growth stocks, and follows a passively managed full replication approach. Now like I was saying earlier, I do want to sort of dive into the world of growth investing, especially because I am sort of at the point right now, or at least very close to it, where I'm honestly earning more or less enough dividends on a monthly basis to sustain my lifestyle and then some, and of course I'm hoping that if I continue to reinvest those dividends into more dividend paying stocks and ETFs and of course on top of that have some dividend increases which I've honestly seen a ton throughout the portfolio as of recently I'm hoping that my portfolio is sort of good as of right now and because of that I do want more growth exposure but without being super nerdy and digging into specific single stocks I want to have a way to have growth exposure across various different stocks and I love the fact that VUG provides a convenient way to match the performance of many of the nation's largest growth stocks so which ones are the largest which ones are doing the best at least historically yes I want a little bit of piece of all of them. Now, on top of that, just as a film in this video, at least, the year-to-date returns for VUG, just to give you an idea, is 17.3%. So this ETF has had some massive performance historically. But towards the end of the video, we're going to look at VUG's historical performance as a whole. Now, looking a little bit deeper into VUG's performance, this ETF has been trading for around 20 years or so. So keep in mind, there is a decent amount of data to go off of. And over time, as you can see in the max time frame, VUG is up around 637%, which if you averaged it out year after year, this has made for a nice average annual return historically. Now, some more time frames, year to date, it's up around 17%. Over the one year, up around 25%. Now, keep in mind, because this ETF is going to be exposed to some higher beta names, when the market does well, this ETF is probably going to do great. But when the market decides to tank, this ETF is probably going to tank pretty significantly with it. Like we saw in 2021, VUG was trading around $320 per share. Then just shortly after, in December 2022, this ETF was down over $100 per share. So this ETF isn't necessarily going to be for the faint of heart. It's going to be for more of the high beta growth or oriented investor. And like I said, I'm probably never going to be exactly that, but I do want to have a slight bit of exposure to some more high growth names moving forward. 
Now, to give you an idea of the breakdown with this ETF, this is going to be very important when it comes to buying into any ETF, of course. But the reason this ETF has done so well, obviously, is because technology makes up the majority of it. And as of recently, at least the last few years, technology has been doing incredible. 50% of this ETF, more or less, is going to be technology. Around 13, 14% is communication. Around 12.6 is consumer cyclical. Healthcare is around 7. Financial is around 5.6. Industrials, consumer defensive, basic material, real estate, energy, utilities. Sort of the more boring, tried and true sectors are less than 3 or 4 now, even though this ETF is basically made up of mostly Apple, Microsoft, and NVIDIA, meaning that every single one of these stocks are over 10% of this ETF, so you are getting a lot of exposure into these names, so keep that in mind. Although that's the case, there's 191 different holdings in VUG, so you are getting exposure to a ton of growth names, some of the biggest growth names across the market, which again, if that's what you're solving for, if that's what you want exposure to, VUG definitely crosses that out. Now, some of the top names are things like Apple, Microsoft, NVIDIA. We have Amazon, Meta, Alphabet. We have Eli Lilly, Tesla, then Visa, and others. Now, again, this ETF isn't really doing anything all that special that other growth-focused ETFs are necessarily doing. Although, like I said, it does have a nice sector breakdown for those that want exposure to some massive, massive growth potential. Now, as far as dividends go for VUG, even though this ETF is a growth ETF, it does pay a dividend of around half a percent yield per year. And over time, the dividend has been going up for the most part. But again, this is probably not all that important because most investors are buying this ETF for the exposure to growth. And that's what it's done historically. Now, last but not least, looking at what an investor historically would have actually earned from investing into VUG over time. If an investor invested $10,000 into VUG, and this was back in 2004, so around 20 and a half years ago, and reinvested their dividends along the way, VUG would have returned that investor a total return of around 812%, or turned that $10,000 into around $91,000 over 20.61 years. That's an average annual total return of around 11.3%. Now, there's been funds over the same time from that are probably done better and worse but that's not bad whatsoever and i do think that because of some of the main names that make up vug right now i think this etf is going to keep excelling in the next five or so years now without dividends reinvested the etf still return around 10.49 percent which isn't too shabby or turn ten thousand dollars into around seventy eight thousand dollars over time so in conclusion, because I want more exposure to growth and because I specifically want more exposure to some of the nation's largest growth stocks all in one ETF, I think I'm going to start investing to BUG very soon here as I sort of inch closer and closer to some of my long-term dividend goals. So now that we went over VUG, I share with you how this ETF works, what it has to offer, the stocks that are inside of it, and of course, the total return over time. I lastly want to hear from you guys down below. When it comes to more growth-oriented ETFs, if you were to have to name a few of your favorite, which ones would they be? Which ones should I look into next? Drop the ticker symbols in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to please drop a like and subscribe for more future content like this. Thanks as always for stopping by, and if you are interested in investing, make sure to check out these recent videos I posted right here.